Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawan Mehta and today we will understand how to run two-way analysis of variance using Python. So for this, we will directly go into Jupyter Notebook. We will activate some libraries like import pandas as pd, import statsmodel.api as sm, from statsmodel.formula.api import ols, from statsmodel.stats.anova import anova underscore lm, from statsmodel.graphics.factorplots import interaction plot, from matplotlib.pyplot as plt, from skypy import stats. Now we will activate the data frame. So we will write down df is equal to pd.read underscore csv. By writing r here, we will be able to import the data file very smoothly. So df.head, when I will generate this, I will get this data frame. Now this data frame is about the length of the tooth, the supplements given and the dosage of the medicine. Now in case of two-way ANOVA, we are considering two effects, two treatment at the same time. So you want to see that there is there any effect of supplement on the length of the tooth? Is there any effect of dosage on the length of the tooth? So first let us generate the box plot. So import seaborn as SNS, AX is equal to SNS dot box plot, X is equal to the supplement given and Y is the length of the tooth. Data is equal to df. So you can see two supplements are given vc and oj and we want to see the effects on this. So this is first effect. Then we want to see according to the dose. So uh, this is not necessary now. You can run directly. ax is equal to sns dot box plot. x is equal to dose given. y is equal to length of the tooth. Theta is equal to df. So the different dosages are 0.5, 1 and 2. This is second effect. The third effect is interaction of dose with the supplement. So here we will plot interaction underscore plot df dose, df supplement, df length, color is equal to red, blue, markers are d and hat and ms is equal to def. So we want to see that what various combinations of dosage will supplement, will give, will increase the length of the tooth. So you can see here, the square one is VC and OJ and the dosages are given. So this is the dose at 0.5, 1 and 2. Now you can see there is a significant difference in 0.5 dose which is given between OJ and VC but when the values are higher it is more or less similar in the length of the tooth. Now this is a informal method of testing the effect. Now let us see the formal method in which we will be running the test. The null hypothesis of this test is there is no significant difference in length of the tooth according to the supplements given. Two supplements are given, OJ and BC. The second null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in length of the tooth according to the dosage of medicine, 0.5, 1 and 2. The third is there are no interaction effects. Now my formula is length of the tooth tilde. This is tilde. It is located near the escape button above the tab on your keyboard. C supplement plus C dose plus C supplement colon C dose. Now this captures the interaction effect. Model is equal to OLS formula comma DF. This is your DF the data frame. Dot fit. EOV underscore table is equal to ANOVA underscore LM model type 2. Make sure type 2. Now print AOV table. Now you can see here the p values are there of supplement. And this p value is less than 0 0.05. It means that the supplement effect is there. Then we talk about dose and its p value. So here also the p value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore the effect of dose is there. 
supplement and dose here the p value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore the effect of interaction is also there now there is one more library ping wine if we activate this library by going in command prompt and you will have to write down here pip install ping wine And once it is activated, you can run this import ping wine as pg. POV is equal to pg.anova. Dependent variable is length of the tooth between supplement dose. Data is equal to df detailed true. Now, this ping wine library can reduce this three line command into a single line command. Print AOV. Now, you can see here the same output I've got is the effect of supplement there this p value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore the effect of supplement is there dosage the p value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore the effect of dosage is also there supplement as strict dose so this captures the interaction effect and here also the p value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore the interaction effect is also present so this is a way you can run two-way ANOVA in Python for more videos on data science using Python, kindly subscribe to my channel. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to data science using Python. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the like button.